Hey horror fans, and welcome back to October Horror Fest. Today I'm going to review Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th was inspired by the success of Halloween. Friday the 13th was released on May 9th, 1980, on a budget of $550,000 and managed to make $59,754,000. Okay, the film starts on Friday the 13th, 1958, at Camp Crystal Lake, and two camp counselors decide to have sex, and an unknown person watches and interrupts them and kills both of them. Now, we are taken to the present, and it says June 13th, present. And Ken Crystal Lake is being reopened after over two decades, and the townspeople, including Crazy Ralph, call the camp Camp Blood. Several counselors are working, and several new ones arrive, and someone watches them, and one counselor is stuck walking ten miles and gets arrived by the wrong person. And she jumps out realizing something's wrong, and after a chase, the unknown person slits her throat. Throughout the rest of the film, camp counselors start getting killed off by an unknown person. In the final climax, the only counselor left, Alice discovers several bodies, and the old lady, Mrs. Voorhees, shows up at the camp, and Alice thinks she's there to help her, and after she tells the story of her dead son, Jason tries to kill Alice. And Alice gets away and discovers several more bodies, and after several more fights with Mrs. Voorhees, Alice manages to cut off her head. The next day, Alice in a canoe wakes up when the police call her, and Jason comes out of the water and grabs and pulls her under. And she wakes up in the hospital and asks about Jason, but they didn't find him. And the film ends showing the lake, making the audience wonder if Jason is indeed real or was it a nightmare Alice had. Okay, Friday the 13th is similar to Halloween, though Jason is not technically in this film, so saying the original film copycats Halloween completely is not accurate. The film does use similar style camera views to Halloween and has its own scary soundtracks, but does take place at a different style location, and the killer is a vengeful mother played by the great Bessie Palmer. So the original is inspired by Halloween, but differs in a lot of areas, and the gore count in this film was insane for the time. It made Halloween look 14A by comparison. Friday the 13th will be remembered for starting the gory part of the horror industry, which is commonplace today in horror films. Jason might not technically be in the original film, but it does not make Friday the 13th any less scary. If you want a film with some very frightening death scenes and a fairly frightening atmosphere where you don't know who or where the killer is, and when or where or how they will strike, and I definitely encourage you to watch Friday the 13th if you will enjoy it. Please tune in tomorrow as I discuss another horror-related topic. This is the Entertainment Wizard, signing off.